Coming in just over 3,000 pounds, Geo Pro 19 FBS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this is what happens when the best keeps getting better. Uh, this, is, there's some updates that just took place basically right before the time of this filming because we had a pair of these come in last week that did not include the new standard front windshield. Um, we've always optioned them with solar, but the solar is now standard. And the uh, 12 volt TV is also now standard at the time of this filming. So uh, check the posting date on this. Uh, but as of right now, new and improved. So literally, <laughs> This is what happens when the best keeps getting better, and I have never seen anything like the sustained demand that is still present on these Geo Pro models. Why is that? Well, that's why we put these videos together, so you can see all the little differences and, and awesome qualities between them. One of the very uh, high in number awesome qualities of the Geo Pro series here, and specifically this 19 FPS, is the fact that with the slide closed, like we're looking at right now, this camper remains 100% accessible. You can get to the bed, you can get to the seating. You don't need the slide out. The slide out just makes it better. And uh, you know, the, the refrigerator's behind me, the bathroom's right here, right when you walk in the door. Everything is simple and easy to get to, whether you're packing up, whether you're traveling, or just making a quick stop. You never really have to mess with the slide. It's just there to make life a little bit nicer when you reach your destination. Then we open up the slide out. You can see just lots of extra room in here. And that's what's nice about this one. This uh, The 19 FBS as compared to the 19 FD, um, you know, you get that extra living space at, thanks to that slide out. Now, if you're not familiar with it, uh, if maybe you've been living under a rock and haven't heard of these GeoPros, they are pretty much hands down one of the best like boondocking uh, campers I've ever seen. And they are just like a straight up what you call like teardrop killer, you know? They, uh, they are about the same weight and often less money than some of those uh, funny teardrop type trailers with that neat little aerodynamic shape but very inefficient body design. Uh, whereas this gives you the extra interior height, extra overhead storage, we've got a full size air conditioner, and we've just got an absolute modern knockout of a decor here. Now, the 19 FBS, well all the Geo Pros, they're all completely carpetless. And this sofa slide out right here, it also requires no carpet, like some slides will. So you're going to get that uh, extra easy cleaning living space that you're looking for. Now Rockwood spends a little bit more money on pretty much everything, which is why you're going to have a little more plush and comfortable, uh, nicer seating arrangement. I like the um, cup holders in each of those sides, uh, like armresty looking things on the sofa. Now there is bonus storage uh, above that sofa. We're gonna kind of slip back to that in a minute. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way. One of the things I do like to point out in these though is another one of those more nicer, classy, upscale features is the roller shades on here. So if you really want to blot out the sun, you can. And they're nicer, slow rise ones that don't smack you know, around when you raise them up. So if you accidentally bump them, they're not gonna make a big old racket or anything. Um, we do like to put the uh, full-size air conditioner on these, that 13,500 BTU air conditioner. We'll turn this thing into a meat locker if you want it. No bigger than this camper is. You'll be breathing icicles in here. And I do not use a liar, liar, pants on fire, fisheye camera lens because I don't want to deceive you into buying here at Halet RV. We don't want to trick you into buying here. We want to educate you and we want to earn your business. So that's why we use a normal flat camera lens. But this has an impressive five inch vaulted interior ceiling here. And just to give you an idea, as tall as I am, I can walk right under this air conditioner, right under the knobs. Absolutely no sweat and never hit my head in here. And I'm 6'2", by the way. So the way that they do this is this is a laminated roof. It's all aluminum framed and laminated. And when you laminate, you can only uh, get up to a two and a half inch arch. So how did they get five inches on this? And the answer is they have two two and a half inch vaulted sections that basically almost like an extension bridge. They like uh, they have teeth that sort of marry together like Lego pieces in the middle. And then it's fully uh, sealed and enclosed top, bottom, and below. So um, there's there's still less seams and moving parts in this roof than any conventionally built roof out on the market. So you're thinking, yeah, but isn't the seam down the middle a problem? No, it's not because it's fully sealed and closed. And again, there's less seams in this roof than like a normal conventional built camper. Now they do an awesome job in lighting in here. So the light decor is nice, but boom, tough acting to acting. Those lights come on and you can see that they use double the lights and they use higher intensity lighting because that's all they do at Rockwood. They only use higher grade components across the board at Rockwood. They don't ever use something that's a, a little lower grade as it were. Now, 
that front windshield is something that you probably noticed immediately, even from like the thumbnail image of this video. Uh, that is a new addition at the time of this filming. The windshield, again, the 12 volt TV, and the uh, solar panels on the roof have all become standard. Uh, last year, the, t the windshield didn't exist, and the TV and the solar were optional pieces of equipment. So you've got a nice singles or doubles camping experience here. Notice that you've got that awesome cross breeze window arrangement on both sides of that bed for awesome, awesome airflow right there. Another nice thing on this TV right here is it's also ideal for easy viewing. You could probably literally see the TV in this camper from the toilet. Now, it is on a, a, a more impressive double-jointed articulated swing arm, but I'm not left-handed, and I've only got one hand and uh, you have to really manipulate that thing to get it in the position you want, so I can't kind of twist it around the way I want to. But I think you get the idea. You can see it from the kitchen, from the sofa, from the bed. One TV services the entire RV extremely, extremely well. Now above that, our little entertainment center kind of continues. Um, this is not DVD because very few people seem to really travel DVDs anymore. And in a small camper, storage is really important, and you probably want to use that for stuff and not discs. But you do have... Uh, face-mounted HDMI extensions with USB charger plugs here. So if you are going to be on the road and you have uh, like a, a Roku or Chromecast stick, this is very friendly for that. Also, something that uh, moving the TV reveals is the switch to activate the Wi-Fi Ranger in here. The um, If you don't know what that is, basically, guys, it's a built-in router. This RV has a built-in router to give you better, more reliable signal so that if you do want to use streaming media like this, it, it is going to be simpler and easier. And you notice you very rarely see this plug actually used in RVs. That's because this is a 12-volt TV. I'm operating on nothing more than battery power right now, and I can utilize this TV. It does not require 110 power. Um, you can certainly use it on 110. It actually comes with two different power adapters, but... Obviously, just on a simple little jump start box like you'd use on a car, I can fire this thing up. And you might notice you don't need a DVD player in here because you have one integrated into the television. However, there's more to the <laughs> Geo Pro than beautiful light white cabinetry, which, by the way, I love because it makes a little camper not look and feel so little. It makes it look and feel bigger because lighter is brighter, brighter is bigger, and bigger is better. And that's RV Nerdism number 37 for you right there. So what happens when we open up all the storage in here? Well, the short answer is a whole lot of goodness. So starting under the bed, I love this. I love that there's not an ounce of space gone to waste in this Rockwood. And you can see that your drawers are all plywood box constructed. They're not using stickers and particle board to kind of hold everything together here. Um, the uh, bed does have a full pass-through storage space that goes under it. This white grate over here is actually going to be like your furnace and some of the RV systems, like maybe the water pump. I'd have to look to where, see where that's located. But there's objects under here. But in front of that, there is a full pass-through storage outside, which a lot of little campers don't have. So they were left with this open pocket right here. And they said, put a drawer in it. We're Rockwood. We don't waste nothing. Drawers are better than wasted space. Do it. You know, there you go. Now, uh, at a glance, you don't really notice. You're like, oh, there, yeah, but there's no cabinets in here, you know, or closet. And that's what this is right here. You see that little hanging rack right there. Now, is this the biggest closet in the world, like a, a front wardrobe on a fifth wheel? No, of course not. Do you need all that storage in this little camper? No, of course not. There's enough in there for a couple folks to put some clothes in for a fun little weekend to run around and have a good time. Now, over here, there you can option an oven into these. That is still an optional piece of equipment. We have found from a lot of user feedback that not 100% of people, but far more than 50% of people, would rather have all of the storage space here under that stovetop instead of an oven. You can still use an oven for storage, but it ain't nearly that much storage right there. And generally speaking, a little camper like this, a lot of folks don't like to cook in it because it'll add a lot of extra heat into the camper. Now, there are vent fans and there are cross breeze windows and everything, but... You can you can always do something with storage, but if storage isn't there, sometimes you just run out of options. So we kind of felt like we we're going to err on that side of things. Now, if you like everything about this camper we're looking at, except you're like, no, 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 dude, I need an oven. You don't know me. That's fine. That's fine. Give us a call. We'll have one built for you with an oven. Anything that's available from Rockwood, we're happy to put together. You don't have to buy it like you see in this video. This is just an example of how we tend to bring them in here at Halid RV. If you'd like to see them different, if we receive enough frequent feedback of, no, 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 I want it a different way, we'll build it that way normally. No big deal. So 
Here's another thing. They gave you two maximum size drawers here instead of a couple little drawers. You can always put more stuff or a divider or something in a big drawer like this, but little drawers, you're really captivated on what you can stuff in them. And like pretty much any Rockwood, they include that handy little silverware organizer, which I really like because if you want to take this outside for picnic time, which this is a good camper for that for a couple reasons, like a portable table that we're going to talk about in a minute and a portable grill, you'll love it. Now, a little camper like this is not going to have the world's biggest, baddest uh, kitchen ever, but by recessing that big three burner stove top, they have given you a fairly decent amount of prep space. And that is a, a pretty heavy duty tempered glass cover. Uh, so, I mean, you can use that for actual countertop room. And you can see nicer materials like a stainless sink in here. So, uh, you know, you're not going to like bang it up or, you know, like melt it if you pour hot water into it. And notice that they put the biggest window in this thing they possibly could. Now, overhead, you'll see that the doors are self-strutted, so you don't need to juggle them open with your head. And that's what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They always go the extra mile to make life simple, convenient, fun, and easy for their owners. Now, while we're talking about kitchen windows or campsite or door side windows in general i think that these windows over here are probably more value than any valuable than anything else on the rv in terms of windows because they look at your campsite now the front windshield don't get me wrong that is pretty awesome i do like that um it is also kind of cool because it gives you a better idea of how deep that front nose cap and wall is so that you can kind of see that yeah that is pretty thick and there is a decent level of uh insulation going on there now this is not made to be some kind of four seasons arctic camper but they didn't go substandard insulation by any stretch um and that's actually part of where the asdell story of the geo pro comes in but we'll get to that in a minute i was talking about windows so this is a nice big breeze through window that's cool but what is very easy to take for granted is the fact that they have a real window in the door not just one of those frosty glass things but a real window and it does have a slide down privacy shade so this is giving you extra light and visibility of your campsite now the decor pattern in here it's kind of funny how what was old is suddenly new again these lighter brighter decors and the gray and the stainless they were outdated at a time and suddenly man they are back with a vengeance i think winnebago kind of kicked it off with their lighter, brighter interior decors that is still their signature calling card. And now Eagle and Rockwood are really kind of keying into that. So we've got a five cubic foot fridge freezer here. There is a freezer pocket inside of that. Um, I've had people ask me, well, can you get rid of that and put a six cubic foot fridge in? And the answer is not from the factory because this standard setup is how it comes from the factory. You'd have to get rid of the microwave. If you're willing to do that aftermarket, understand you're also going to have to completely change how this uh, refrigerator system ventilates, and it's just completely not recommended. So if you're looking for a six cubic foot fridge, you should look more towards something like uh, the Rockwood Mini Lights or the Winnebago Micro Minis that we carry here at Haylet RV. Now, the uh, like sofa arrangement over here. It can kind of be and do anything you want. Obviously, the primary purpose of it down here is going to be for something um, of a seating lounge. And by the way, you do this is your uh, solar monitor panel right over there. But what if, um, you know, where, where do you eat? Well, they have a solution for that. If you see here, they include a handy little um, folding, free-floating leg picnic table that actually stores right behind the sofa. Um you know, when you're in transit or when you're parked or whatever, or you could take it outside for picnic time. But as you can see here, if we do have a situation where the grandbabies are coming or something like that, we do have a small guest sleeper right here. Just enough, not not like, you know, a, a full-time bunk situation. Although we've had families of three um, do a lot of camping in these. Uh, this is great for a little kid on the weekend. Now, yes, these rear cushions right here, they, do, they are fluffed up, if you will. It is not a fully flat surface, but... Generally speaking, you're going to be sitting on this camper like tenfold more often than someone's going to be sleeping on it. So chances are you're that that that's the lesser of two evils right here and you're going to appreciate the nicer more comfortable plush seating back on this as compared to the little bit of lumpy sleeping and if you are going to use it for frequent sleeping then all you do is just get like a nice little i don't know foam pad or something to kind of help even that out a little bit you'll find an easy little solution for it and finally finish her up we're going to come back here to the bathroom and i left the door closed on purpose so that you could see that the door doesn't go all the way to the roof and a lot of people initially think that's a miss until you realize that the bigger Max Air vent fan that they include in these Rockwoods, which also includes the roof vent cover for rainy day use, by the way, that is one of the best cross-breeze airflow ventilation methods that you could ever find. And if that door was closed 
and you had a couple uh, bedroom windows open, and it's not going to do you any good. But you leave one of those uh, bed windows open, or both of them, you turn this fan on, and you will enjoy a six mile an hour breeze, just kind of cascading a nice little uh, light spring or fall, uh, you know, evening air on you while you sleep. And that's good sleeping weather right there, at least in the Midwest. Obviously, weather's different in different areas of the country. Now, being a laminated roof, they can position those skylights anywhere they want to. And you notice how they have it positioned all the way against the wall. Well, the extra height gained from the skylight plus the vaulted ceiling on this makes it pretty friendly for folks that are about my size, like 6'2"-ish or something. And then you see that shower caddy. Once again, just Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They give you those extra little detail items for ease of use, comfort, and simplicity because those little plastic shelves in that shower enclosure, they're not going to store or anything. They're, everything's going to fall down. So Rockwood gives you an area to keep that stuff up out of the way. Now, uh, there's an extra little thing they put on here. It's called the shower miser. Long story short, it's a when you're boondocking and you're taking a shower, you flip this little lever and it will recycle the water back into your freshwater holding tank so that you're not wasting water and you don't have to uh, spend a bunch of time jiggling the handles to get the temperature back where you want it, which wastes water. Don't use that when you are hooked up to park water, by the way, because you could flood the, the freshwater tank. Um, it's only to be used when you're dry camping. So we've got a foot flush stool. It is mounted on an angle so that you do have good leg room in here, even if you're bigger like me. And that uh, GFI protected outlet in there allows you to keep like your shavers and blow dryers going on. Now, uh, the extra little detail things like those little soap and toothbrush holders that you're going to find in here. The fact that it has a light switch for the bathroom lights is something that not a lot of little campers have. You see a towel ring mounted up high enough where it's not going to like dangle into the sink, and a real uh, vanity and medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. It's all those extra little details that separate Rockwood from so many other brands. It's the, it's all that little stuff is the reason uh, that Rockwood is and has been the number one selling laminated trailer since before my time in this business. And I've been doing this for over 10 years now. These guys are and have been the ultralight kings and it's a race for second. It's a, Every year it's a race to see who loses first to Rockwood, basically. Ooh, man. Now let's take a second just to just appreciate aesthetically this thing. God bless it if that doesn't look like a freaking little spaceship. This is just a little spaceship. It's like classic little campers, but with spaceship modern application and design. What do I mean by that? Well, let's start up front. You've got an automotive windshield install in that front nose cap that I've mentioned a few times is new at the time of this filming. It's not a window. If you gently tap on it with like change in your pocket or keys or something like that, you can actually hear the difference between the front windshield and a side window. But speaking of those, because this thing is, again, spaceship slick and modern, we do have frameless windows all the way around this thing right here. And they look amazing. They're obviously heavily tinted. I've got the lights on inside. You can't tell, can you? It's, it's kind of like the tree in my neighbor's backyard. I can see her from inside that tree, but she can't see me. Never mind. Doesn't, doesn't matter. That's unrelated. <coughs> There's, we're settling out of court. Doesn't matter. <laughs> also, in addition to UV tinted, that's going to give you privacy. It's going to keep the interior cooler from less solar radiation, and it protects the seal under that window pane. So not only is your furniture not fading, but your seal's not getting degraded. Simple, easy magnet latches for easier one-hand operation right here. And again, something that not a lot of little campers, especially in the single axle market, have. It is more uncommon than it is common. It's not unheard of, it's just not everywhere, is a big pass-through compartment. And this is a very easy way to see the full aluminum skeleton under this camper. In the walls, the floor, the roof, everything here is an all aluminum skeleton. Now, this RV actually has dual solar setup. So this is for a side mount portable solar prep kit. The roof has an integrated solar system already on it. So you can actually trickle charge two batteries at the same time with the setup on this, which is very cool. Now, again, not cutting corners. These do have four corners uh, stabilizer jacks, and they are the more stable scissor jacks that are rated to hold more weight. So uh, this camper becomes incredibly sturdy at its campsite. And once again, Rockwood going the extra mile, we do include, uh, well, they include rather, a little tongue-mounted wheel on this so that if you need to like 
hand park it near your garage or something like that or do a campsite adjustment after you get it unhooked from the vehicle. It's very easy to do that. Then you just chock the wheels up. Chocking the wheels is a really good idea on a sing any camper, but especially single axle because they can tend to be more wobbly. But those jacks will should take that out of there. Now this is a seven and a half wide camper. So it's generally speaking not wider than your vehicle. And that means that you have superior side lane visibility when you're uh, changing lanes on the highway. You also have uh, a lot less headwind because it's not sticking out more than your vehicle generally speaking this rides on a different chassis also from most of the other rockwoods and part of that is for the weight savings on this because again these are roughly the weight of a lot of those um uh, like 16 18 foot teardrop campers but with physically more cubic foot of space inside it's a physically bigger camper at the same weight one of the ways they accomplish that is with a better chassis it is lighter but stronger like an aircraft style chassis another one is the aluminum skeleton and another one is asdell problem is you can't see the asdell and rockwood really hasn't done a good job of telling people about it which is part of why i put these videos together so anywhere that this rv is laminated it will have asdell wall paneling asdell is lighter than luan it cannot rot mold or mildew it has sound dampening quality it has a slightly higher r value for these walls again not a four seasons camper but take what you can get plus the white skin in a hot summer climate that will organically help keep the heat down in a camper asdell has a lot of cool benefits to it guys um so here's again more impressive little details on this thing like the fact that because storage is such a premium factor in a smaller camper, they include a sewer hose caddy on this so that you don't have to mix your camp stuff with your sewer stuff, uh, you know, uh, in transit. And again, all, like basically laminated everywhere, like laminated slide sides, side walls, roof. The floor is not laminated, but it is uh, um, aluminum skeleton with a 5 8 decking on top of that for full walkability, and it's a seamless one-piece floor decking, which is cool. The uh, axle on this, just like any other Rockwood, is uh, independent suspension, so uh, each wheel moves completely independently from the other. The, there's not one axle that wants to rock it back and forth, essentially. And what's cool about that, guys, is what this does is it helps this thing maintain better stability at higher speeds while cornering. So especially little ac little single axle campers are notorious for like wiggling behind a vehicle. Um, the tandem axles generally will tow nicer. The better suspension on this will help overcome uh, some of that potential deficiency or deficit there. Now, We've got really intelligent, this is fully self-contained by the way, it, it's not like you have to bring a little blue tote tank with you. You do have a full gray and black tank set up, uh, onboard freshwater holding tank, black tank flush. This does have an antifreeze inlet like the rest of the Rockwood, so when it is time to give her the pink drink of death, you can put her to sleep comfortably and not have to take the pink jugs of Kool-Aid inside as it were. All technical terms, by the way. Full outside utility shower, not just a cold water sprayer port. And then little stuff like this, like all rock with even their pop-ups, they do this. All LED lighting, tail and marker lights. They are lighter, brighter, safer, last longer, easier. You know, probably not less expensive. Well, definitely not less expensive, but better. Now, what's kind of cool is you compare this, comparatively speaking, the pricing on these compared to some of the, like, the teardrop stuff again. These often come in at less money. They're certainly not more. And that's the part that really kind of amazes me. And it's really just due sheerly to Rockwood's volume. They just can get better deals on parts than pretty much anybody else, you know? Um, this is backup camera ready, whether you're looking for a backup or in-motion observation model. Uh, we can install those here at Halet RV for the exact same price that you can get them aftermarket. Kind of like there's uh, that jacket bike rack that can go on the front nose of this thing. We can install those here at our store. We keep them in stock for the same money that you can get them aftermarket. And I noticed you got a roof ladder on the back of this. Not all little campers have walkable roofs. This is one that does, and we're actually going to hop up there uh, at the end. Now, before we get too far along, I don't want to miss anything. The more ride steps on this. Uh, other than the very first generation of Geo Pros, these came on Generation 2. Now, this being Generation 3 still includes the more rides. They're one of the best things ever. They, they are so sturdy and stable, and especially a little camper like this, which is very subject to being kind of topsy-turvy when people come and go. The fact that those feet down there make ground contact so that they don't, uh, you know, rock the trailer when you come in and out is just awesome. They flip up in the camper out of the way so there's less uh, issue with, like, ground clearance in the back or anything like that. The door is an anti-slam door, and that's really important on a model like this due to the location of that grill stand right there. Because just like that, if I flip the door, if I push it, if I swing it, 
it catches itself. Now those are adjustable hinges by the way. If you want more or less tension you can do that. Now this is an outdoorsy type camper. If you're going to go biking or kayaking or hiking you don't want to risk losing your keys. Leave the keys in the camper. This will throw your deadbolt for you so that uh, you don't necessarily need to bring keys with you. And then again not only do we have a real window in that we also have the little auto close uh, screen door band on here like you're seeing on this and the Winnebago's and some of your more nicer premium campers have that feature. And this big handle is overkill on this little camper, but tell me you don't love it. And, and if you say that, I'm going to call you a liar to your face. <laughs> um, so over here, this is our outside grilling setup. This grill does not hook into the camper. It does not hook into the RV's existing propane system. It feeds off separate uh, propane bottles. So if you want to move this, it would be a free-floating can. However, once again, Rockwood's got you covered. Rockwood likes to give you and and not or. They want to give you more, not less. So they gave you the better grill, which is a high output grill that can cook better in um, higher wind conditions. But if you want a grill that hooks into the camper, they still included a propane line for you guys. There is no downside to this. And the spare tire, by the way, it, it stores under the belly right here. And they do that so that it's out of the wind, rain, weather, and it doesn't get uh, dry rotted before you even get a chance to use it. Um, and also, even the little side stand over here, this is called a galvanized rolled steel. Basically, leave it outside, it gets wet, who cares? Not going to hurt it. And remember I told you about that little uh, table, that free-floating table inside. We saw a quick little sneak peek of that for a few seconds. Again, one of the best parts about those free-floating legs is if you want to take this camper out or the uh, table outside for picnic time under that uh, awning not a problem and speaking of which let's open her up so little camper but they put about the biggest awning on it they possibly could the only way they could have really made it any significantly longer is if they took out the bedroom window and I don't think you're interested in that um, by the way this is mr. Jody over here Jody is one of our uh, quality control uh, fellas and uh, as soon as an RV arrives we uh, start performing a surface inspection to make sure it's up to uh, standards and then we actually go through two additional layers of quality controls in the shop well, what I want to show you was all the awning space on here. So, small camper, but full depth awning. And these are tilt and lock awning arms. So, if you do want to get some uh, tilt on there for rainy day use, you can. Now, naturally, under the awning, we do have that full length LED light strip. And I do like it when they're at the awning base. So, you can use them when the awning is retracted. Especially against the white skin of this camper at night. It's really going to uh, give you a heck of a nice little cascade. Now, I said I had a walkable roof. I wasn't joking. Here I am. We're going to start at the front and work our way back. One of the things I always like about Rockwood RVs, whether it's this, one of their fifth wheels, a mini light, a signature, an ultra, anything, is they are so heavy handed with their sealants. They do not cut corners. They, they didn't spend all the time dressing and pressing this thing just so that they could... Uh, you know, cut the corner at the last minute on you. Now, our TV antenna does not need to be cranked up. Uh, you just simply turn it to the direction you want. There's a little signal monitor there. And this is that Wi-Fi Ranger I was telling you about. This is the built-in router for the RV, essentially. Ooh, I got a wicked shadow getting me here. Let me move around a little. There you go. So, maybe not crazy impressive to look at. Although it is a new model, the double antenna to give you a little better and more reliable um, signal action. And this right here is your stereo antenna, in case you're curious. Let me get spun around here very carefully. It's not like I'm being careful where I walk. It's just there's a lot of stuff on the roof. And recording a video like this while walking on a roof is kind of a dumb idea. But uh, I'm dedicated. What can I say? Uh, my boss says, Josh, you don't have to do that. I said, yeah, but I will. Anyway, 13,500 BTU low profile optional roof air conditioner included on this one. This is how we like to stock these. We have only one time ever had somebody not uh, build a GeoPro with an air conditioner on it and they came back later and had us install one after the fact. So chances are we're always going to stock one with this. Um, roof mounted solar again, last year was optional, now is standard. So bam, you know, there's your battery staying topped off the whole time. Now back here, there's the cover for that Max Air or Fantastic Vent Fan or whatever you want to call it. And then there's this other little thing over here I want to zoom in on. And this is the uh, black holding tank chimney cap right there. So what this is, guys, basically it's something that I first saw on Jayco's. It's called a Siphon 360. But basically, it's like an airplane wing that's mounted upside down. And what that does is it pulls 
more of the gases and airs out of your black holding tank so that you don't get back feed of odor into the camper through the toilet even a little bit while you flush the idea is to always keep that tank um, properly working allowing the biological processes to take place and getting better airflow in it so I think that pretty much covers it. Now this is a tiny one. If you're looking for something like a giant fifth wheel toy hauler like we're looking at here in this section currently, we got it. But <clears throat> really, from economy to excitement and uh, everything in between, we've got it all here at Halid RV. We do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV deliveries, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. But no hidden fees. I should mention that. We don't do hidden fees. We'll leave that to somebody else.